Hi, I'm Taylor. I'm Stephen. Jeff Pickens. And we're going to be talking to you, to you today about the five most important things and habitudes, the art of engaging communication. So, as we learned at the beginning of the semester, employers are finding increasing deficiencies with recent graduates, whether they're from high school or from college. As you see, there are 11 applied skills employers are looking for in new hires based off the research done and Are They Ready to Work, an article we all read at the beginning of the semester. Three of the skills are largely based on communication. Well, you might say, duh, they have communication in the titles or communication for communication. But what about leadership, especially leadership? Leadership is the ability not only to coach and teach principles to people, but also the ability to communicate ideas effectively. Think of where the United States would have landed if the Founding Fathers weren't able to effectively communicate their ideas about the British rule. Think of what civil state we'd be in if Dr. Martin Luther King didn't have effective leadership through his communication skills. And think of how much worse politics could be, which is kind of hard to imagine, if they did not convey their ideas effectively. That is why we are here to discuss the five key concepts of effective communication. One, identify with your audience. Why should anyone listen to you if you can't relate to them? Discuss a topic that you aren't personally interested in or invested in. Two, keep messages simple. If you throw a lot of stuff at people, they're gonna to start to tune you out to try to process what you've already given them. Three, keep messages relevant. Don't go off on tangents that aren't related to the topic. You don't wanna hear about my day. You're here to learn how to give an effective presentation. Four, motivate your audience to listen. Give a cause for them to listen. Hopefully I've done that by reminding you that employers already think we aren't good enough out of the box. So take this presentation as an opportunity to either better yourself or refine skills that you already have. Five, tell a story in your speech. People like conflict and resolution, so give it to them. Effective speakers identify with people who are listening. They are able to relate to the audience by being both genuine and transparent. Whenever a speaker allows an audience to take a peek into their lives, and more importantly, their emotions, a connection is created between the audience and the speaker. When a speaker reveals an aspect of their lives, they take the opportunity not to only hear what the speaker is saying, but also to reflect upon how that reflects in their lives. But it must be genuine and true. If I simply say up here, stand up here and say that I'm nervous about this presentation, you might empathize with me. You might be like, yeah, I get nervous with presentations too. But if I stand up here and tell you a story, about how when I arrived to Dallas for the first time, I was alone. It was my first venture from home on my own. And when I finally got up here, I sat in my new apartment on the hardwood floor pretty much all night. I was in an unfamiliar place, and I really felt alone. I was surrounded not by friends, not by family, not by anybody I knew. I was surrounded only by the boxes of my belongings that I could pick my car. I sat awake almost all night on that floor, Silence abound and a blank stare on my face, longing for someone I knew. Yet nobody was within hundreds of miles. I was so alone, I worked myself as hard as I could at a restaurant to make social connections, just to feel welcomed, and eventually my coworkers would become my friends. I wouldn't feel so alone. Now that might be a few able to relate a little bit to me. You might say, yes, I've felt alone like that in the past, or yes, I have had to find an outlet for something that I was feeling at the time. That is using windows and mirrors. The ability to connect with your audience by putting a piece of yourself into it. Show the audience your humanity. Be genuine, and it will make you more likable and give you a greater impact with your message. Now Jeff will explain why the message is simple and relevant. People won't use a message if it's too hard. In this reading, the narrative discusses the efforts of a pencil manufacturing company. Their notion was to promote themselves and build bridges to the students in the local, uh, was it a university or college? The notion they came up with was to give away some excess inventory. They gave away number three pencils. Much to their dismay, they found a lot of the pencils ended up in the trash or on the ground in the bushes. What happened? Well, it, the message was too hard. The, the pencils were too hard. Number three lead, it takes a lot more pressure to write with a number three pencil than a number two pencil. So the net result, when people think of that company, they don't think, oh, that's the nice pencil company that 
did something for my college, they think, good grief, those are the boneheads who gave us the pencils that we didn't want to use and we all threw them away. Keep messages relevant. <clears throat> Understand that in today's times, your audience is going to have a lot of mental filters. They're on their tablets. They're on their iPhones. They're tweeting. They're in Facebook. You have to build a bridge to them. You have to activate them. <clears throat> One way, as uh, Tyler discussed earlier, is personalize the story. I could personalize the story by saying, <clears throat> in, in, in addition to the pencils, when I was in fourth grade, the teacher asked us, what did you do over your summer vacation? This one girl that sat next to me said, well, we went to Pennsylvania for vacation. And the teacher said, well, what do they do in Pennsylvania? Do they make anything in Pennsylvania? And the little girl said, well, I think they make pencils. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so um, the next point on the uh, uh, reading that we had was motivate your audience to listen. Your audience wants to listen to you only if they have a reason to listen to you, so you have to give them. And the example that the reading gives is tell them their house is on fire. If someone's house is on fire, they are going to listen to what they have, you have to say. They've got an immediate, relevant reason to pay attention to you. So make your speech the same way. Say something that makes your audience care. If your audience doesn't care, they're not going to listen. If they don't listen, you're not communicating. The next point is to tell a story in your speech. How many of you would rather go to a movie than to a meeting? <laughs> Come on, I know there's more of you than you. <laughs> There we go. Okay, that looks a little bit better. So that's the whole point of the reading as well. You'd rather go to a movie. Why? Because there's a story. Because there's something interesting. Because there's some conflict. Because there's action. And because it all comes to a resolution. Again, make your speech the same way. If your speech tells a story, if your speech has conflict, if it has an action in it, and if all of that comes to a resolution that has meaning, your audience will pay much more attention, enjoy it much more, and care much more. And so all of those things are very good to have effective communication. Finally, in summer, use windows and mirrors. This will give your audience a reason to look into you and a way to look back on themselves. Oops, I'm sorry. Uh, use a number two pencil. Use an easy method of speaking. Right? Keep the message as concentrated, as simple as possible, and that way your audience can understand it, and they don't have any sort of confusing details. Break through mental filters. Doing this, you can keep your message relevant, and that way people will pay attention to you. Along the same line, tell the audience that their house is on fire. Tell them they need to pay attention. Give them a reason to pay attention. And finally, keep your audience interested by telling a story in your speech. Make it happen. A story, conflict, action, and resolution. Thank you. Any questions?